Hello, hello, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming 50 facts about me so you guys can get to know me better. I have my laptop here, so if I'm looking down, it's because I am reading the questions. <laughs> my full name is Cheryl Lo Wu. Lo is actually my mom's last name. So my last name in Mandarin is pronounced Wu, W-U. And Wu in Taiwanese is pronounced Go. I hope I'm saying that right. Go, and which sounds like goer. And my dad's legal last name is actually goer. He changed it later on. But since I was born here and I already have Cheryl Lo Wu as my legal name, it's hard for me to change my last name. I've actually looked into it and it's a whole lot of process because it's your last name. You can't just change your last name. You have to go to a court hearing. It's just way too much. So <laughs> I am not going to change for now. I think if I get married in the future, I think I would like to have Goer replace my middle name. So it would be Cheryl Goer and something else. I was born in Santa Ana, California. I was raised in Taipei, Taiwan, and I came to Florida when I was 15, when I was in 10th grade. I was born on June 2nd, 1994. I am a Gemini. I am 24, almost 25. It's kind of crazy to think about. <laughs> My first language is Mandarin Chinese. I can understand and speak a little bit of Taiwanese, but definitely not fluent. And I do have accent when I speak Taiwanese too. I am 5'3", definitely wish I was taller. <laughs> I really want to go to Santorini. Three words to describe myself. Honest, genuine, empathetic. I'm an empath and it is very tiring. My favorite season is fall. I can't stand the sound of the clock tea talking and chimes, which is really strange because when I was little, I used to love the sound of it. But now when I hear chimes, it just makes me sick. And I hate when people lie to me. My cats, desserts, and going to a zoo or an aquarium, it always makes me the happiest. If I want to be, but I don't really enjoy cooking too much, definitely French toast with coffee with orange juice. It has to be this combination. Oh, cockroaches. I always have nightmares about cockroaches and I'm afraid of heights. No regret. Mm -mm, not at all. I'm just kidding. Um, I try to see it as my mistakes. I try to ask myself, what can I learn from it? I just really want to focus on what I can learn from the mistakes. Let's say if I ended a relationship, maybe in the beginning I would think like, oh my gosh, it's such a waste of time, like so much time wasted. But then I ask myself like, what did I learn from it? I might not exactly know what I want or need at that moment, but what I do know is what I don't want. So in that case, I can pinpoint and focus on looking for the things that I want in the next relationship. I just feel like I have no right to say I regret something because everything that I did, everything that happened, I chose to do it. There's always something that you learn from your mistake and you just have to figure out what it is. My eyes are brown. Family. Because to me, family comes in any shapes and forms. It can be my boyfriend, my best friend, my fur babies. They're all family to me. I love spicy hot pot, beef noodle soup, Korean food, Italian food, Indian curry, sushi. It has to be the Americanized sushi though. And Mexican food. A whole lot. <laughs> Chocolate souffle and cheesecake. Ivory and pink. Her name is Kitty and we've been best friends since kindergarten. I would have to go with dogs. Taiwan, China when I was a baby, and Korea because my best friend is Korean. So three countries. Have you gone to college? Yes, I graduated. I graduated from UCF. 
My favorite subject is math. My worst subject is probably history. I don't care for history. Carol Macchiato. I can't just list one. I love dog, seahorse, and dolphin. Anna Sui's secret wish. Definitely coffee. I need to have it every single morning when I wake up, or else I would have a headache. I really haven't thought that far yet. <laughs> I used to play badminton just for fun. Actually, my dad forced me to, but I'm glad he did because or else I would have nothing to answer to this question. <laughs> Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Elbaum. I really love this author. Before I go to sleep. That's the movie title. Before I go to sleep. Hmm, let me think. Maybe like dinner and after dinner, go for a walk. And it will be perfect if the guy would ask me out under a yellow tree. I think when I was three, we used to live on the beach in Long Beach, California. Well, not really on the beach, but literally like less than 10 steps away. Basically, our house is like right next to the beach. That house was haunted for sure. But yeah, it was really fun living right by the beach because my mom and I would always bring the bread and walk to the beach and feed the seagulls. Another memory that I like is when I was in Taiwan, I would hang out with Kitty, Fufu, my dog who passed away. If you haven't watched that video, um, I will link it down below. <laughs> um, and Cookie. Cookie is Kitty's dog. She passed away too. We all grew up together, so it was really fun hanging out at the park. I have a little brother. He is eight years younger than me. Same mom, same dad, same parents. I just have to put it out there because eight years is a freaking long gap. Fashion to me, there is no right or wrong. Just like makeup, I feel like there's not the right way to do it or the wrong way to do it. It's only you do you. Cheesecake Factory and in Boston, that's literally in Boston. <laughs> okay, so there is a Korean restaurant called in Boston that's in Boston. They have the best kimchi jjigae. Pretty Liars, oh my gosh, it's my all-time favorite. And The Lion Game. So speaking of The Lion Game, it's, I'm really upset because ABC Family decided to cancel that show after two seasons, I think. And I rewatched those two seasons like two or three times. It's so good. So both Pretty Liars and The Lion Game are based on the novels. They are written by the same author. I don't know why ABCD... I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know why ABC Family would cancel that show. That's like one of my favorite shows. I was so mad when I found out the show was canceled. I literally went on their Instagram, their Facebook, their whatever site to back them to bring back the show. And they still didn't bring it back. So Pretty Little Liars, The Lion Game, Gossip Girl, and Revenge, my top four favorites. iPhone, I've always used iPhone ever since smartphone is a thing. Obsessively washing my hands. I should probably work on that. I remember I used to live with my uncle and auntie and they had a dog, it's not even their dog, but they had a dog kind of. I would wash my hand like literally like a hundred times in a day just cause like I love dogs. I love to pet him and stuff like that. But every time that I pet him and I smell my hand, it's just, I can't stand the smell. So I really like wash my hand to the point where like my skin start peeling a little bit. That's just one of an example. So Avril Lavigne, Adam Lavigne, Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, Lenka, Osher, Brutal Mars, Justin Bieber for Taiwanese singers, Raining Yane, Yang Chen Ling, Wilbur Pan, Pan Wei Bo, Li Hong Wang, Wang Li Hong, Jennifer Aniston, Robert Downey Jr., and Will Smith. Two cats. Definitely In and Out, Burger Fi, and Five Guys. Coke. 
but actually my favorite is Cherry Pepsi. Embarrassing moment. So when I was in Boston, I was on a bus with my boyfriend. So this is me and I was sitting with a girl. My boyfriend is sitting behind me. He's sitting with somebody else. I'm the one that's sitting outside to the aisle and the girl was sitting close to the window. And I thought the girl was getting off the bus. So, so I stood up with my phone in my left hand and the hot chocolate in my right hand. Basically, I have no more hands to grab onto things. The moment when I stood up, the bus was breaking and I lost balance. I was like holding the stuff and spinning, like my entire body was spinning around and moving forward at the same time. And I didn't know, like that was such a short yet kind of long moment during it and I didn't know what, how I was gonna end, how I was gonna land until all of a sudden this guy grabbed me. <laughs> he grabbed onto my waist. I just felt like somebody grab, grabbed onto me like right here and stopped me. So basically <laughs> that guy saved me or else I really didn't know how I was gonna land. And my chocolate, since I was spinning as I'm going forward, my chocolate like spilt everywhere on the chair and I felt so bad but it was not even a drop on myself since I was going forward it was so embarrassing like I really wanted to dig a hole and just hide in there I said thank you to that guy obviously but I was like oh and that was at the front of the bus so basically everyone on the bus could see me spinning by myself in the middle Alright guys, that's all for today. Hopefully after today, you guys will know a little bit better about me. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye! I stood up with hand in my phone. No. <laughs> with my phone in my hand.